Hi everyone, this is Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to my channel. This will be my entry to D Rock Comics contest that he has going on till the 30th of this month. So I'm get literally getting in by the skin of my teeth to quote Megadeth. Now, if you're new here, please do subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Also, please do give this video a thumbs up and share it around. And don't forget to comment. And if you are a returning subscriber, please do make sure that you're still subscribed because people continue to be magically unsubscribed from their favorite channels. Okay, now the I'm gonna just look at his details to make sure I have them all correct. You know the rules. I have to live on planet Earth. Check. I am more than 18 years. You know. Uh, uh, I'm going to says make a video, post it to you, to YouTube, showing your five favorite comic book covers in your collection. Okay, well that's where I'm going to make a little detour. I decided to show a one. Uh, I'm going to show five books. And the last one is going to be a comic book cover which never seems to leave my me my memory. And I decided that I would get out, you know, some comic books that were surrounding that one in the in, in, in the bin. So while these aren't necessarily my fa the first four aren't necessarily my favorites. They are old and they are covers that I never see anybody show off at all. So this will be something, this might be something new. Now let's see, uh, just to make sure I didn't forget anything else. Uh, Um, I did, no, that's it, that's all the details, I believe. Alright, now, I looked into my bin, and obviously, uh, everything, I went to the bees. So, here's the first one, it is from a company that you all know about, or have heard of. It called a uh, Dark Horse Comics. Honestly, I don't think I've ever read this, and I don't remember where I got it from. But my gosh, this cover is killer. It's Barb Wire from Dark Horse Comics number one. No, I'm um, yeah, no, it was week one. Excuse me. It was a dollar here in the United States and a dollar twenty-five in Canada because it has the Canadian price on there. Very nice, very nice. And I may just uh, get this back out and and read to to see what it's all about. But blondes. Guns, motorcycles, hey, you can't go wrong with that combination for a cover. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one is Batman number 420. This is part 404. Batman, Ten Nights of the Beast. Uh, it was written by Jim Starlin. Uh, he's a familiar name. I've never seen anybody show off Batman covers from this particular era. Or not, not these anyway. And on the other side is uh, Batman number 379. At war with the minions of the Mad Hatter. 
This is both of the pre. Th this one was 1989. That's what it says up there. 1989. And this one is 1985. So very, both, both are very nice covers. And I could be wrong, but this kind of looks like Bane, but I'm not sure. Okay. Now moving on. Uh, this one is Batman number three seventy one. Oh, it's it's uh, from uh, nineteen eighty five, nineteen eighty four. Actually, in across the cover, it says it has Catman. Real, and it's got the. Uh, Batman and Robin in his sights. Now, the last one is the one I said that never seems to leave my memory. It's also a Batman comic. And it was released in February of 1984. And I will go into detail as to why this is one of my favorite covers and I really have no idea who wrote this Batman number 368 I love this cover this is one of those covers for me that you know never leaves the memory because it's the only one which has never left my memory. It's that good. And I'll tell you, and I'm going to try and get this a little bit closer if I can. It said, if you can't read this, it says, Introducing Robin the Boy Wonder. That's right, we said Boy Wonder. And I'll tell you why I like, I like this cover so much. Because like the others, it has Batman in his iconic colors, which is blue, gray, and yellow with the uh, yellow with the bat in bat symbol on his chest surrounded by yellow. It has Robin on there but also it looks hopeful it doesn't look dark and gritty like modern comics I mean this sometimes the stories make up for the crappy covers but you know this is a, a hopeful cover to me because it's bright it's not dark and gritty yeah heck even the uh, the other one I just showed ten nights in the with the even this one is not dark and gritty because there's color that pops and this just has has that effect you know the color just pops Plus this right here. This is like a billboard. Introducing Robin the Boy Wonder. That's right, we said boy, and if you can't see, boy is underlined. Boy Wonder. I don't know I don't remember the what this story was, but this particular cover has always stayed in my mind whenever I think of Batman. I just love it so much, and I'm glad that I've kept it. And it's been it's been bagged, and just so you know, this all of these have been bagged and boarded for about mm, probably thirty years now. And as you can see, these bags are still in 
great condition. Yes, uh, there is uh, some wear and tear on the spine, but hey, that's okay with me. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a stickler. Present, everything has to be in pristine condition. That's just me. So, that's those were my entries for D Runk, D -Runk Comics contest, which ends on August. 30th, just a few days from now, and I'm really getting in by the skin of my teeth, like I said. So, if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss any new notifications, give it a thumbs up, share it around, don't forget to comment, and I will have D Runk's channel linked up here somewhere in down below I will have the specific uh, co contest video linked so you can enter it if you have not done so just yet. I'm Michael for Spirit Comics. Till next time, true readers, may all your news be good news.